Namaste, everybody. Larissa Shanti here, and today we're bringing you day two of the Gratitude Journey series. Now, if you're wondering what that is, you can check out the description below. It'll let you know what it's all about, or you're just welcome to enjoy this awesome flow that we have for you today. Today's theme is grounding into gratitude. Now, I do have to admit that I borrowed that title name from the infamous Yoga with Adrian, but I don't think she'll mind. If you have a block with you, go ahead, bring that down to the mat. If you don't have a block, don't worry. It's not super essential to the practice. Maybe if you have a big thick book or maybe even a brick lying around, you can take that with you. And like I said, not essential. Either way, let's get down to the mat. Today we're going to be getting started in our cross-legged position. So come down into your cross-legged and then bring the hands wherever feels more comfortable on the knees and the lap. And then start to close the eyes or leave them soft. Again, whatever makes you feel more relaxed, more calm, more able to be in the present moment. And once you're settled here, maybe just take a few inhales. And exhales. <sighs> kind of just shaking off anything that was happening earlier today and then trying to let go of anything that might be happening later. <sighs> and after you've taken a few settling breaths, just breathe naturally, feeling that natural ebb and flow. Maybe turn your focus to your sit bones. Feel the sit bones pressing into your mat, rooting down into the earth. Feeling solid and grounded. And then maybe as you sit here, you can intentionally press those sit bones into your mat. And as you press them down, inhale, lengthen up through the spine kind of getting taller, one vertebrae at a time. Imagine somebody's pulling you with a string from the crown of your head. And then once you feel like you've got nice and long through your so spine, on your exhales, see if you can find some softness in the body. So maybe softening in the shoulders and the hips in the forehead or jaw. But as you soften, see if you can still maintain that long spine and those sit bones rooted down. And maybe bring the attention back to the breath if it's wandered. Noticing if there's any differences now that we've created a little bit more space and softness in the body. Now that we've kind of grounded ourselves, brought ourselves more into the present moment, let's go ahead and continue with the practice. So if you want to just flutter those eyes open nice and slow. From here, take the hands out to the knees and then just let the chin fall down to the chest. Let the head hang heavy for a moment. Then you can start to rock the head from side to side, bringing one ear to one shoulder, other ear over the other shoulder. You want to do some full rotations of the neck, go for it, or just stay here, kind of tick tocking the head from side to side. And then once the chin comes back to the center of the chest, on your inhale, lift it up, send the gaze all the way up to the sky, chin is slightly lifted. Then start to press your shoulders down, lift the heart up. Stretching the front side of the neck and into the upper chest. Relax, come back to center. Hands are still on the knees and we're gonna to start to shift our ribs over to the right side. 
then bring them forward and then over to the left side. As they come back, see if you can round the spine and then just keep it going in this kind of circular motion. I like to imagine that I am sitting inside a barrel and I'm trying to scrape my ribs on all sides of that barrel. If you want to put a little shoulder action in there, whatever kind of feels fluid and right, but try to keep those sit bones rooting down through this whole process. and then pause where you are, head the other direction. So it might feel a little sticky. Just try to breathe through that stickiness, finding your own fluidity. Don't worry about what it looks like, mainly what it feels like, yeah? And then see if you can make that circle a little bit smaller. And then a little bit smaller and then a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller until only you can notice that spine vibrating in these teeny tiny little circles. And then find stillness. Bring the hands forward, rock onto the knees, coming into your tabletop position. So a tabletop, give your fingers a little claw, clawing your mat. Hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. And then on your inhale, drop the belly, open up the heart, lift the head. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round up through the spine, head drops last. Inhale as you drop the belly, open up the heart, lift the head. Exhale, tucking, rounding. Just move through a few more now at your own pace, kind of tuning in with your breath today. If you want to go a little faster or slower, whatever feels right to you. And then meet me in a tabletop, neutral spine. So your tailbone tucks slightly, drawing the belly button and lower ribs in. Then start to reach your right arm forward, extend the left leg back. You can tuck the toes at first, then try to lift the leg off the mat. Start to kick through your heel, reach through your fingers. Imagine like you're a rope in a game of tug of war and somebody's pulling you with your wrist and ankle in opposite directions, getting long through the back body. Then as you exhale, bring the elbow and knee together underneath the body, round like a cat. Inhale to extend. Exhale around. Inhale, extend, kicking through the heel, reaching through the fingers. Exhale, round it in. Last one. Inhale, extend it, reach nice and long. And then send it back down to the mat. Other side, left arm reaches, right leg extends, toes can stay tucked. Or try to lift it off, kicking and reaching. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in and round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach as long as you can, and then float it down to the mat. And now, from here, tuck your toes. Maybe take one handprint forward with both hands. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, lift those hips up and back to our downward dog. That was the first downward dog. So go ahead and pedal out your feet, bending one knee, then the other, getting a little bit more into the hamstrings. Maybe give a little yes, no with the head, getting more into the neck and shoulders. And then find a little bit of stillness in the dog, taking a nice big inhale. And exhale, feeling your hands rooting into your mat, feeling your feet rooting down into the mat, even if the heels aren't touching. On your next inhale, bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward. On the exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale to the halfway lift, long spine, reach through the crown of the head. Then exhale to fold. 
Keep your knees generously bent on this first one. Let's rest the belly onto the thighs. Let the head hang heavy. Arms can just be like wet noodles, or if you want, you can grab opposite elbows. Again, maybe a little yes, no with the head, nice and slow. And then start to shift the weight in the feet. So rocking the weight forward to the toes and then back to the heels. Feeling the soles and the pressure shift one one side to the other. And then see if you can bring your body into center so you're pressing evenly through all four corners of the feet. And then release your elbows. Keep pressing through those feet. Keep your knees bent. Roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time. Chin stays close to the chest till that last moment. And then this head stacks on top as the arms go wide up over the head. And then exhale as the hands come through heart center. And then mountain pose. Let's have a look down at our toes. Try to pick all 10 toes up, spread them nice and wide, and then try to set one toe down at a time, big toe coming down last. I call this the yogi toe challenge. And then once they're all 10 toes are down on the mat, give your mat a little squish with your toes. So you're kind of giving your mat a little massage. And feel if you, see if you can feel your inner arches lifting in your feet as you do so. Then rock the weight forward to the toes, back to the heels, maybe side to side, and then come back to center. So you're pressing evenly through all four corners of the feet. Your knees are slightly bent. So there's a tiny micro bend. Probably only you will notice the bend. Lengthen the tailbone down the back. Shoulder heads come up, down, and back. Palms face forward. Your chin is parallel with the earth. So finding this nice, solid, foundational mountain pose. On your inhale, see if you can grow tall. Kind of imagine you're like a tree reaching up, growing nice and slow, or like somebody's pulling you with a string from the crown of your head. And then on your exhales, imagine that energy rooting back down through the feet, nice and solid. On your next inhale, start to bend the knees, sink the hips, sweep the arms up into a chair pose. Try to send the weight back into the heels, maybe lift all 10 toes up again, and then set them back down. If you can't see your toes, try to shift the shins back so you can. And then keep sinking, keep lifting through the heart, keep reaching through the fingers. Take another inhale, and exhale. Good, one more, inhale, and exhale to fold, lengthen through the legs, inhale to a halfway lift, long spine, exhale as the hands come down to the mat, step back into your plank, let's get rooted in our plank, so your fingers are gripping with the mat, your heels are reaching to the back end, crown of the head reaches forward, belly button and lower ribs hug in, take another inhale, Exhale, lower the knees, bend the elbows to lower the heart. Untuck your toes. Inhale, press down through the pubic bone, peel the heart up, hug the elbows towards each other. Exhale as you come back down, tuck your toes, make your way back to a downward dog. Grip your fingertips, press down through your root knuckles. On your inhale, take your right leg up behind you. On the exhale, bend the knee, bring it through, place it in between the hands. Drop your back knee down. Let's anchor our left hand to the earth. On your inhale, take the right hand to, a, to the sky for a nice little twist. On the exhale, take that hand back down. Lift your back leg, come back to a downward dog. On the inhale, left leg high. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it through, create space, set the foot down. Drop the back knee to the earth. Ground your right hand into the floor. Inhale, left hand to the sky, twist. Exhale, take that hand back down. Come back to your downward dog. Again, grip the mat with your fingertips. Press your root knuckles down into the earth. Reach up long through the arms, lifting through the armpits. Hips 
go up and back, tailbones turning towards the sky. On your next inhale, bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward. On the exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Start to bend your knees, sink the hips. Take the hands behind you. Then inhale, sweep them up, coming into a chair. Keep the hips sinking, keep the weight in the heels. Keep lifting up through the heart, reaching through the fingers. Keep sinking the hips. Take another inhale and exhale. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale as the hearts come through, hands come through heart center. And then mountain pose. Take a pause. Ground down through the feet on your exhales. Rise tall through the spine, through the crown of the head on your inhales. On your next inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, sweep the arms up, chair pose. Exhale to fold, lengthen through the legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, take the hands down, send it back to your plank. Option to lower the knees or maybe go all the way down. Untuck your toes, then root your pubic bone down into your mat. As you inhale, peel the heart up, hug the elbows together, baby cobra. Exhale as you come back down, tuck your toes, make your way back to a downward dog. All right, gonna change it up on you guys. On your inhale, take your right leg high. On the exhale, bend the knee, bring it through, place it in between the hands. Inhale, rise all the way up into your crescent pose. On your exhale, drop the back heel down. Open to your warrior two. Take time to get solid in your warrior two. So check you have a heel to heel alignment. And then you're pressing into the pinky toe side of the back foot, ball of the front foot. Knee is solidly above that ankle. And then reach through the fingertips, looking over your front fingers. Find the breath here. Take an inhale, and then try to find some softness on the exhale. Maybe imagine roots growing through their feet. So again, you can give your mat a little massage with the toes here, feeling the inner arches lift. Drop your back hand down, flip the front arm up into a reverse, or, reverse a warrior. Good. Keep the front knee bending. You can even bend it a little bit more to sink the hips if that feels good. Then on your next inhale, lengthen through that front leg. Imagine somebody's pulling with your wrist behind you. So you're in a reverse triangle. Then keep these legs long. Bring your arms back to a warrior two. Maybe heel toe that back foot in slightly. And again, let's tune into the feet. Give your mat a little massage. Feel those inner arches lift. Feel the energy draw up, pulling the kneecaps into the thighs so you engage. Now bring your back hand to the back hip, flip the front palm. Then from here, start to reach forward through those fingertips. Feel the front hip draw underneath the body. Continue to reach until you feel like you can't reach any further. Then take that hand down. Try to keep the upper body where it is. Opposite hand goes to the sky. And then again, tune back to the feet. Give your mat a massage. Energy draws up through those legs as your sit bone draws underneath the body and the hip opens up to the sky. Take that top hand down. Frame your front foot. Spin onto the ball of your back foot. And then coming into your low runner's lunge. Now just step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees, sink your hips, take your hands behind you. Inhale, sweep it up, chair pose. One breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands through heart center. Mountain pose, pausing, grounding down, rising up. On your next inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, sweep the hands up, chair pose. Keep shifting the weight into the heels, keep sinking the hips, 
Keep lifting the heart, reaching through those fingers. Take another breath in and out. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, take the hands down, shift it back to your plank. And then your option here, if you want to lower the knees or go all the way down. Untuck the toes, root the pubic bone down into the earth as you inhale, peel the heart up. Exhale as you come back down. Tuck your toes, make your way back to a downward dog. On your inhale, left leg up behind you. On the exhale, bring it through, place it in between the hands. Inhale, rise tall, crescent pulse. Exhale, spin the back heel down, open to your warrior two. Again, take time to get solid through that foundation, heel to heel, pressing through the back edge, ball of the front foot. I like to imagine that I'm kind of ripping my mat in half, and that kind of helps me tune into that engagement and that sensation of the legs being strong and rooted into the floor. Then start to reach through your fingertips, gaze is over the front fingers. Take an inhale and softness on the exhale if you can. Again, maybe a little massage with your toes on the mat. Then on your next inhale, drop the back hand, flip the front palm. Bend the knees, sink in the hips if it feels accessible. Then on your next inhale, reach the arm behind you, lengthen through that front leg into a reverse triangle. Bring the hands back to warrior two arms. Keep the legs long. Heel toe that back foot in. And then flip the front palm. Bring the back hand to the hip. Start to reach forward, feeling that front hip draw underneath the body. Continue to reach and reach and reach until you feel like you can't reach anymore. Try to leave the upper body where it is. We don't have to go all the way down, yeah? So leave the upper body where it is, take the hand down to the leg for a little support or you can block or maybe just press it into the front leg. Then from here, feel the left sit bone draw underneath the body. Feel the right hip bone open up to the sky. Take that right arm to the sky. And don't forget about the legs. So give your mat a massage, reaching, lengthening up the arms. Up the legs, not the arms. <laughs> Good, now take that top hand down. Frame the front foot, spin onto the ball of the back foot coming into your low lunge. Maybe do a few little hip bounces here. And then step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up, chair pose. Good. Inhale to rise. Hands to heart center. Mountain pose, pausing, grounding down. Feel those feet solid on your mat. Feel your spine getting tall, growing up like a tree. Then from this space, bring your hands to your hips. Again, let's tune into the feet. So maybe rock to the toes, rock to the heels, side to side. Give your mat a massage with those toes. And then focus on something out in front of you, something that's not moving. This is called our dristi. So our focus point, some people like it low, some people like it directly out in front, some people like it high. So whatever works for you. Then we're gonna shift our weight into our right leg. Pick the left knee up, flex the toes. Then open up the leg as far as it'll go. Draw the foot, either keep it low, toes touching the mat, heel just above the ankle, or you can bring it to the calf, or maybe reach down, bring it all the way into the thigh. And once you feel safe, stable and solid in whatever version you chose, tune into that grounded foot. So again, give your mat a massage, then feel that lengthening, that lifting up sensation, growing tall like a tree from the top of your head. Feeling the right hip hug in, left foot press in, so you're creating this bind. Then from this place, maybe bring one hand to the heart, then the other. And if you're falling all over the place, option one, come to the wall, and then also just know that 
It's not about executing the pose, yeah? It's about the effort we put in. Tree pose is about playfulness, so have fun with it. If you're falling everywhere, just give a smile and come back and join us whenever you can. All right, from here, maybe inhale, take those hands all the way up to overhead, coming into the full tree. And then smile, because it's just yoga. <laughs> all right, bring those hands back down to heart center. And then try to release the foot with control. Turn the knee forward, kick the foot out, flex the toes, then point, then flex, then point, flex. Set it down, Whew, shake it out. All right, other side, hands back to the hips. Remember that focus point. Shift your weight into the left leg. Draw the right knee up, flex the toes. Then open that knee as far as you can. And then bring the foot, maybe keeping it low, calf, or drawing it up into the thigh. Just avoiding placing it on the knee joint. Once you get the foot where you want it, start to ground through the standing foot, rising tall, feeling that left hip hug in, right foot compress, so you're creating that bind. Then from this place, bring the hands to the heart, then the other, and then maybe another inhale to take it all the way up overhead. Whew, lost my balance. And and then smile, because it's just yoga, guys. No need to be a stoic tree, right? We can be playful trees. <laughs> Good. All right, take the hands back to heart center. And then release that foot with control. Turn it forward, extend, flex, point, flex, point, and then set it down. Shake it out. Let's do a vinyasa to let go of that tension. Inhale, take the hands high. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, as the hands come to the mat, send your feet back to a plank. On your exhale, move through your vinyasa, so lowering down. Then inhale to your up dog or your cobra. And then exhale, meet me in a down dog. Take a moment, get solid in your down dog, gripping with your fingertips, pressing your root knuckles into the mat, lifting up through the armpits, sending those hips up and back, turning the tailbone up towards the sky. Energy is down through the backsides of the legs. Heels are reaching for the mat, but it doesn't matter if they touch. On your next inhale, bend the knees, lift the heels, look forward. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, press, rise up, hands up overhead. Exhale through heart center. Mountain pose, grounding down, rising up. All right, one final balance challenge for you today. For this one, I think bringing the feet closer together is a little bit better. So bring the balls of your feet together and then your heels are slightly separated. From here try to lift up onto the balls of your feet, balance. Take the hands up overhead, maybe bring them together. Then bring the hands down to the heart, keeping those heels lifted if we can. And then we're going to start to bend and sink like we're going into a chair. So start to bend your knees, sink the hips, keep the heels lifted, and then try to keep lowering down as slowly and as controlled as you can. Keep going, keep going, until eventually, ah, bum is on the heels. You can bring your hands down to help balance you if you need, or if you wanna get a little balance practice in, hands to the heart. Focusing here, using that ankle strength, using that toe strength. And then extra bonus challenge here. You can either just come down any way you'd like or start to reach the hands forward. Take the knees wide and back as you lean forward. Set the heels down and then the bum. Whew. 
made it. All right. Bend your knees. Hands come underneath the knees. And then actually let's get a little core action going here. So instead of hands underneath the knees, reach the fingers forward, plant your feet down into the mat, and then roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time, going as slowly as you can. Hands come down by your side. Bring the heels to the bum. Feet are about hip width distance, going into a bridge pose prep. If you have that block, now's the time to have it by your side. As you're ready, press into the feet, start to lift the hips up towards the sky. And you can just lift them high enough to bring that block. I prefer medium side, but you can do low side. So I'd say low side or medium side, bring that underneath your lower back. And you want to place it on the hard part of your lower back, so the sacrum bone. It's a nice, flat, plate-like surface. So if it's on the spine, just take it down a little bit. And then once it's there, just settle in. You can flip the palms to the sky and breathe. If you don't have a block, you can just come into your regular bridge pose, lacing the hands underneath the body if it feels accessible. So find that nice deep inhale and slow exhale. Feeling the shoulders grounding into the earth, soles of the feet flat on your mat. Softening in the front side of the body if you're in the restorative version of this pose. And then as you're ready, if your block is on the medium side, press through the feet, lift the hips just high enough so you can flip the block onto the low side and then set it back down. So sacrum comes back down onto that block. And then from here, we're gonna bring the knees up over our hips and then send the feet towards the sky. So we're coming into a waterfall pose. Now, if you don't have a block, you can just send your legs to the sky and these can be as bent as they like, or you can come to a wall and do legs up the wall pose here. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths, letting that inversion energy kind of calm and still the nervous system grounding us back down. If you want, you can take your arms wide into a T if that feels good. While you're here, see if you can cultivate a nice steady inhale and slow exhale, making the exhale just a little bit longer than the inhale. Start to bend the knees, softening those feet back down to the mat. Planting the feet onto the earth, arms come back down by your side. Start to lift the hips off the block, just high enough so you can remove that block from underneath you. 
then roll the spine back down. Knees come into the chest for a little squeeze. Take your arms out to a T shape and then let those knees fall to one side. Coming into your supine twist. You can send the gaze in the opposite direction if it feels good. Softening the shoulders down to the earth. Breathing into the tissues of the spine as it wraps with the spine. Next inhale, knees come back up. And then on the exhale, you can let them go down to the other side. Again, sending the gaze in the opposite direction if it feels good. Softening your shoulders, jaw, forehead. Breathing into the tissues surrounding the spine, seeing if you can breathe a little softness, a little length there. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. Final squeeze. You can bring your forehead to your knees. And then release the legs going nice and long down to the bottom of your mat, palms facing up towards the sky. Feel free to do any little tiny movements you'd like to to make yourself more comfortable. And then once you feel settled, you can just close the eyes or leave them soft. Staying here for a few moments at least before you drift off. I'll leave you with a quote. And that quote is, peace is being in this moment without judgment. Peace is being in this moment without judgment. And as always, Remember to write those three things down that you're feeling grateful for after your Shavasana.